Hey kid, and welcome to a motherific kid time story time. Hey, who's this Bart guy? Yeah, and why is his chart so amazing? Well, let me explain, Green Bear and Red Bear. Yeah, this better be good, because I've never heard of this Bart guy. I don't know why he gets to have a book about him, and then he gets to be amazing, because really, the amazing one here is me. You see where this is going? Oh, I see where it's going. Well, see, the deal is, is that Bart has a very difficult homework assignment. Is he not as smart as I am? He is just as smart, but what he does is he figures out how to use math and charts that his mom teaches him while she's measuring ice cream. What? There's ice cream in the story? Listen. Okay. And he uses it on an assignment where he gets to talk about all about himself. Wait a minute. Oh boy. He gets to use charts to talk about himself? I'm all ears. Uh, because as you know, Green Bear likes anything that has to do with talking about himself. Stop talking so she can read the story. Okay. Okay. Bart's amazing charts. Let's see here. Oh, this was the first page. Here we go. Joey tapped his best friend's shoulder. Hey, Bart. What are you doing for our class project? Oh, you mean my life story? Yeah, says Joey. Mr. Parker said we can t uh, tell about ourselves any way we want. And then Jessica leaned over their seat. I'm going to write a song. It's called Me, 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 she sang. Then Walter spun around. I'm drawing a map of my bedroom and everything in it. Then Joey started talking about his plan. But Bart, look at that. Sitting so so quietly there and looking a little bit worried in the face area. He didn't say a word. He had no idea what he was going to do. If I don't think of something special, no one will want to hear my life story. <sighs> Bart sighed. Oh no. So she he's full of ideas and he's got ideas and this one's writing a song. He's doing a map. That's kind of interesting. But Bart is blank. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Bart heard his mom working at her computer and he went into her office. So she stopped typing and gave him a big hug like moms do. I've got a problem. I mean a project, Bart said. I don't know how to start it. Will you help me? Sure, mom answered. Just let me finish this sales chart first. What's it for? Well, it tells me what kind of ice cream sold best at the store last month, said mom. Then I can figure out how much I should order for next month. Uh, are charts just for business stuff? Asked Bart. You can use a chart to organize anything, said mom. If you can count it, measure it, or sort it, you can make a chart. Hmm, said Bart. That gives me a great idea. What is Bartley thinking over there? I have to tell my life story for a class project, Bart explained, and I want to do something really special. What if I make charts that are all about me? They could tell about what I like and what I do. That's a great idea, says mom. Can I do them on your computer? Bart asked. Sure. You can make the charts and I'll scan them into the computer for you. Let's try it. So Bart wrote down Bart's charts and he drew a picture of himself, which looks Pretty good. I mean, don't you think? Look at that. Yep. That looks pretty good. Bart is a little a little artiste there, isn't he? All right. Refocus. Refocus. Moving on. He handed the paper to his mother. She zip, 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 scanned it, and it appeared on the screen. Amazing, huh? Said mom. But Bart frowned. Hmm. He needs something else. He took the paper out of the scanner and wrote on it. Mom scanned it again. Mm much better said Bart so what did he do ah because he had just called it Bart's charts now it's Bart's amazing charts and now what should he do let's see that night Bart sat in his room thinking about Bart's amazing charts and his little sister Katie hey she's a redhead just like their mom too she dashed in dinner time oops she bumped into Bart's bookshelf and a big box teetered and tottered and tipped over. That's a lot of T's. Teetering and tottering and tipping. Stacks and stacks of sports cards flew out and covered the floor. <gasps> Sorry, 
Katie whispered as she started to pick up the cards. Oh no, there must be a million cards here. Yep, she'll never pick them up before dinner gets cold. Actually, I think it's more like a hundred. Hey, you gave me an idea for my first chart, Bart said. Look, Katie, let's put them in piles like this. So Katie started helping them. She stacked the cards and Bart counted. 30 basketball cards, 10 football cards, 60 baseball cards. He grabbed the box top and the marker. If you can count it and sort it, you can chart it, Bart said. So he did. My sports card collection. There it is. Oh, that's exactly what his mom said, right? If you can count it and sort it, you can chart it. This is fascinating. We can all do this with our lives and figure out the things that we care about the most numerically. On Friday, Dad fixed do-it-yourself pizzas. Pile on your toppings, Dad called. Awesome, said Bart. I'm tired of just plain cheese. What else can I put on my pizza? Hmm. So Bart did a taste test. He took a bite here and a nibble there. Some toppings he liked and others, yikes. He wrote down his test results. If you can list it, you can chart it, said Bart. So he did. Look at that. It's becoming a habit. Also, that pizza looks delicious. And that one, that one's a little green for my taste. That one has a lot of mushrooms. That's cool. I wonder if the dog's going to make his own pizza. Huh? Maybe? Bart played ba uh, basketball with Jessica on Saturday. Boom, 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 boom. You can really slam dunk, he said. Let's see who can make the most baskets said Jessica. So Bart and Jessica each got 20 turns. If they made a basket, they got a point. So Bart, he kept score. And after they both took their last shots, Bart added up the scores and he had won. If you can add it, you can chart it. So he did. See, I bet you've done this before. I mean, maybe not this pretty, but I bet you've kept score. So that's, she, so she won, he won by a basket, by one basket looks like. Bart went to Grandma Rose's birthday party on Sunday, and all eight cousins were there. Oh, you're all growing up so fast, Grandma Rosa said. Come over here and let me measure you. Bart wondered if Cousin Alex was still taller. Grandma said, stand up straight, and measured the eight cousins. Bart took notes. Of course he did. Aunt Judy helped ma baby Marcus stand tall. Hey. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. And cousin Amy, he, you know, she didn't need any help. Even though Bart was younger than Alex, he was now two inches taller. Way to grow, Bart, said Uncle Steve. If you can measure it, you can chart it, said Bart. So he did. Now look at that. That's Amy and Alex and Bart. Bart's getting tall. Marcus and Paul and Sandy and Amanda and Emily. Wow. And then if you do this every time you get measured, you'll have, um, you'll have a chart to keep comparing and see growth cycles over time. And then you could see like when you, they'll be able to tell like if somebody had a growth spurt at a certain time or something. At lunchtime on Monday, Bart said, let's trade sandwiches. Jessica took out her peanut butter and banana sandwich. Oh, I've always wanted to eat one of those and I never have. Yuck, said Joey. Joey unwrapped his cheese and pickle sandwich. Yuck, ew, that I've never wanted to have. No way, said Walter. Walter held onto his tuna and ketchup sandwich. Y'all have weird sandwiches. Uh, too weird, said Jessica, Joey, and Walter. I agree, y'all. Let's find out who's got the strangest sandwich, Bart said. He flattened his lunch bag, took out a pencil, and then he went from table to table, and all the kids in the cafeteria voted. And no one traded sandwiches with Bart. If you can tally it, you can chart it, said Bart. So we did. My strange sandwich survey votes. So the strangest one of all was the ham and jelly. Oh, that is a little bit odd, but it doesn't, doesn't sound bad at all, actually. I would do that. I would definitely eat the peanut butter and banana sandwich, for sure. I would absolutely never eat the tuna and ketchup one, but I would eat that before I would ever, ever, like even nibble on the edge of a cheese and pickle sandwich. And that's the storyteller's point of view. Everywhere Bart went and everything Bart did made him think of charts. He counted the blocks when he biked around the neighborhood. Biking with Bart. How far does Bart bike? To Jessica's, to the playground, to Grab and Go Mart, to Joey's, to Walter. And you see, Everything here, these little blocks represented a city block. So Jessica's only one block away, but Joey, one, two, three, four, five, is five blocks away. So this way he can keep track of his activity. That's actually good for physical fitness.
He sorted all his different kinds of CDs. See, rock and roll, rap, pop, other. He even kept track of his temperature every hour when he was sick. <laughs> every day he gave a new chart to his mother. She scanned it into the computer. Wow, this is going to be an epic report. A week later, all the class projects were due. Mr. Parker called on Bart first. Bart! He walked to the front of the classroom, empty-handed. Everyone gave Bart a funny look. Did you forget something? whispered Joey. Bart just smiled. Go ahead, Bart, Mr. Parker said. So he did. How's, it, how's this going to go? Bart walked over to the class computer. Could everyone come over here, please? He asked. Here's my life story. Oh, Bart's amazing charts, he cried, and he started clicking. His teacher looked impressed already. Look at everybody. He's like, wow, this is unexpected. Cool, said Jessica. Wow, said Walter. Amazing, said Mr. Parker. We should put your life story on our school website. Bart was really, really, really proud, and no chart could measure that. How about that? And actually, I have to show you something before I close the book. One more thing. Because Diane, the writer who sent us this book to read for you, so yes, this is an exclusive author copy, which is like a really big deal. It is a totally big deal. He is not kidding. It says it has a couple of ideas here that I thought were really cool that you could try. You can make your own pizza survey. You make your own chart of pizza toppings that you like and those that you don't, and see how. You, and then you could compare it to Bart's. You can compare it to your parents, your friends, to your siblings. That's kind of fun. That's a way of, of doing your own chart. And then you can make a chart that's your life story, all about me. And you can try making charts and graphs that tell something about you or your family or your friends. What kinds of things can you count, list, measure, sort, or tally? Can you think about some of those things? Do you have any ideas after seeing this story, Green Bear, since you're always wanting to tell the story of your life? Because he's a really interesting guy, I have to say. Thanks, Red Bear. I am interesting. Well, <clears throat> I think that I can maybe start with my list of, of favorite foods. Oh yeah, it's a good one, like honey and and peanut butter. Yeah, and peanut butter. Oh, I'm not into it, but he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I could talk about how all my, my top favorite careers, like president. And well actually that's my only career choice. Yeah, yeah. I'm remember I'm your vice president. Yeah, yeah. I think I said that. Anyway, I'm gonna come up with a list of all the things that make me me. Are you gonna do one too? Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think I'll do one too. So I could like find out what's special about me also also and maybe I could use that in school or something. Good idea. Alright, alright. So now I know who this Bart guy is. And, and and his amazing charts were pretty amazing, I have to admit. So I guess we have to say that we learned something here. Yeah, that would be the right thing to do because I mean technically we did learn something. Okay, sorry Jeller, you win. We learned something here today. I hope that makes you happy. Yeah, and we hope that makes you happy. It does make me happy. <laughs> I hope that you learned something too and that you can put some amazing charts to use in your own life so you can sort of tell the story of your life through numbers. And that is how math can help us all. Remember to subscribe so you can catch all the stories that we do, mathematical and otherwise. We have all kinds of crazy, fun, super fun things here. And as always, we're always going to have certain bears around. Specifically me. Yeah, specifically Green Bear. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time. Sorry.